Hey guys, so just a brief recap of tonight's episode of Glee, which was categorically crazy, um, and I guess my main reaction to basically everything that happened on tonight's episode of Glee is, what the hell? Like, honestly, what in the world were the writers thinking? I'm not saying that this was a bad move, or that the writers did a poor job of writing these characters, I should have seen bits of this coming, but, um, wow. Um, so here are the basic three storylines that I'm going to break down and talk about my reaction to each in their own way, first of which is regionals. Um, I thought that the regional songs were well done, I just didn't like the whole overall musicality and the, the melodicness of the songs. Um, all the people in New Directions looked good in their little outfits or whatever. And um, I also liked um, the Dalton Warblers and, and their songs. It was nice to see uh, uh, the Warblers sing again. I hadn't seen them in quite a long time. <sighs> it was uh, refreshing to, you know, see. Um, them be doing something good for a change. Um, and the reason they're doing something good leads me to my next point. Uh, David Karofsky's suicide. Um, now this is something that, you know, Ryan Murphy had often spoken about in interviews about Glee. Whether he was going to tackle that, we didn't know. And, um, yeah, I, uh, I, I, I feel so much uh, on that particular uh, subject, not because I myself am gay, because I am not, but because the reality is that gay people, or people who are homosexual, are not treated like human beings. They're not treated like people. And that's what a gay person is. A person, first and foremost, regardless of what their orientation is, they are a person. And that is uh, an aspect uh, that was, I guess, lightly explored just before Dave Karofsky's suicide, is that people fail to see him as a person. They, they see his orientation, and they blame him for it. Uh, parents think that they can fix that, things of that nature. And I can understand why Karofsky basically let go and did the suicide attempt. He was being hit from all sides, and there was nobody who was really able to see the problems, even if it was staring him in the face. For example, Kurt could have just accepted the date and hung out with Karofsky for one night. That would have improved his life. That would have made him feel accepted. Sebastian could have uh, been kinder to Karofsky about the way he looks. Both of those things were... Uh, problematic and made Karofsky not angry but bitter and sad uh, which probably partially led to the suicide and the fact that someone found out that he was gay because they saw him with Kurt at bridge sticks um, the humiliation he must have felt is something that I can't even remotely uh, describe or emote to because that's an individual person's feelings. Um, I really felt like the song that um, Blaine sang while Karofsky was preparing himself was heart-wrenchingly true and I, I really honestly was begging for the writers not to have Karofsky do a suicide attempt. Um, it bothered me immensely to see someone in that much pain. Uh, felt like uh, that he had nowhere else to go. Um, I think that there are always places to go, whether they be counselors, friends, uh, and according to you know the show, by the time people found out that he was gay, Karofsky had no friends. But it doesn't mean he couldn't reach out to you know a family member of some kind. Um, I think the most striking moment in the entire episode uh, 
has to do with Karofsky's suicide, but isn't exactly uh, entirely about the suicide itself. It's about the reaction to the suicide. All the teachers in the staff room saying that they could have done something, they could have helped him or talked to him, and that they didn't, and whose job was it really to help Karofsky? That whole conversation in Figgins' office, uh, uh, in addition to the dad's scream when he discovered Karofsky uh, trying to hang himself, uh, was beyond uh, any of the best writing on television because it came from a pure, honest, emotional place knowing that something bad had happened. I feel so bad when I find out, you know, that these dramas are scripted because I feel like you can still have those conversations honestly without having lines of dialogue to guide you on your way. I feel like half of the show, if you just give them a topic to go off of, that the people in Glee could basically have the conversations themselves rather than, you know, depend on a script and lines. That that conversation with uh, the teachers and the principal is one such example where it felt so natural and honest that it felt like that they weren't reading from a script. Maybe that's something that was improvised. I don't know, but um, in any case, it was a beautiful piece of writing. The other uh, big thing that happened other than regionals and Karofsky's suicide has to do with Quinn. She wanted to, you know, really seize the day and live her life. Um, and basically what ended up happening is that she was on her way to Rachel's wedding and she was texting while driving and she got hit by a semi or something. And now whether Quinn survives this is something entirely different. Whether uh, Rachel and Finn got married, that's another deal entirely, but I think it's nice that people uh, brought to the forefront the idea of texting and driving. Ryan Murphy always does a good job at tackling the issues. I just think Glee would benefit more from the issues tackled more often and as honestly as they were in tonight's episode. I am, you know, at an emotional downer point right now because I don't want Karofsky to get out of the hospital and commit suicide. I don't want Quinn to die as much as her personality to me is dry as cardboard. But, um, yeah. I want to know your thoughts about this episode. Was there anything that moved you? Did you have similar experiences in terms of not just being bullied for being gay, but being bullied in general? I know I was bullied uh, as a high schooler, mostly because, you know, I rode around in a wheelchair all the time. And, you know, that wasn't really fair to me. It wasn't fair to my family. But uh, I do have uh, experiences with being bullied. And I know it's a very tough subject, but I believe if we don't talk about it now, then it will never be talked about. So share with me your thoughts and experiences on uh, Glee. And if you can, share me one instance when bullying was a part of your life whether you were the bullied or the bully, and whether this episode changed your mind on that. All right, until next time, I will see you guys later.